again everyone. Tonight I am making my mom's famous pecan pie. Um, everybody has always loved this recipe and I'm not a big huge fan of pecan pie but this is delicious. Um, I'm making it to take to my mom and dad's house for Thanksgiving. So uh, let's get started on it. For this recipe you'll need three, sorry that was my oven telling me it's preheated, three eggs beaten, um, a cup of sugar, a teaspoon of flour, three quarters of a cup of corn syrup, um, a quarter cup of maple syrup, a teaspoon of vanilla, a cup of chopped pecans, and two tablespoons of melted butter. Um, the first thing that you do is you take your eggs, obviously, and beat them really well. And then in another bowl, I have the cup of sugar, and I'm mixing in a teaspoon of flour. I added a little bit of salt to my flour and sugar. Um, I think my mom uses salted butter, but I'm using unsalted, so I did want to add a little salt, and I usually put a little salt in everything. So then the next thing you do is add the sugar and flour mixture to the eggs, and whisk that together till it's well combined. I'm going to do this, and then measure out the two syrups, the vanilla, the two syrups and the vanilla, and add those here, and I will be back with you in just a minute. All right, I have added the corn syrup and the maple syrup to the eggs and flour. I added a teaspoon of vanilla, and now I'm going to pour in the melted butter. I have cooled it off because I don't want it to um, scramble my eggs. Sorry if you hear laughing or screaming in the background. I have teenagers in the house again. <laughs> um, I'm going to grab a spatula, get the rest of the butter out of the dish, and grab my pie crust out of the fridge. Uh, this is my homemade pie crust. I have this recipe on my blog, and I've made a video of it. It's on my channel. I think I've done a video on it. If I haven't, I will do a video soon. Um, but it is on my blog and I'll put the link to my blog below. Um, it's in my fridge chilling. So uh, I'm going to grab it while I get a whisk and I'll bring you back for the next step. Okay, here's my pie crust. No, it's not the prettiest thing in the world, but it's delicious. Um, the recipe calls for adding the pecans to the egg mixture, but I like to do it this way because I think it's cute the way it floats up, and this way um, I am certain that all of the, the bottom is covered with pecans, and it's even, so that every bite has pecans in it. So I'm just spreading it out with my fingers, and then... I will pour the egg mixture. I can do this with one hand and not spill it all over the place. That would be great. I'm not going to guarantee that I can do that, but we'll try. Pour the egg mixture over the pecans. And just let it go all the way in. So I'm going to scrape this bowl and I'll bring you back when I get it ready to go in the oven. You see how the pecans rose to the top of the custard mixture? It's really going to be pretty this way. Now I'm going to bake it for 10 minutes in a 425 degree oven. Then I'm going to reduce the heat to 350 and bake it for another 25 to 30 minutes. You do not want to overbake this pie. It is better to be a little underdone than to be a little overdone. 
Um, you'll want to remove the pie when the center is still just slightly jiggly, and I'll show you what I mean when I, I remove it from the oven, um, because it will continue to cook a little bit after you remove it from the oven. And since this is Wednesday night before Thanksgiving and I'm taking it to my parents, um, if it's not completely baked, um, and not completely set up in the center. I can always pop it in the oven in the morning before we leave and give it a few more minutes baking time for it to, to, to set up completely. So I'm going to pop this in the oven and I will bring you back when I pull it from the oven. Remember that's 425 degrees for 10 minutes and then 25 to 30 minutes at 350. Okay everyone I'm back. I just took the pie out of the oven and I'm trying to get to see if you can see how it jiggles in the middle. Um, <laughs> maybe not. Well yeah you can see it a little bit with my finger. See how it gives just a little bit? That is exactly the consistency that you want. Um, let it cool for um, about an hour and then I will stick it in the fridge. Um, hope you enjoy this recipe. I had a lot of fun making it. This is one of my favorites and like I said earlier I do not really like pecan pie. So if I like it it's pretty good. Thanks so much for watching. Bye bye.